three, two, one. We have lift off. The countdown had begun and all across the Texas coast, the air trembled with anticipation. This was Starship's ninth test flight. And for SpaceX, every second of ignition carried the weight of years of engineering, failures, triumphs, and dreams bound to the stars. The launch pad glowed in the pre-dawn light. Engineers watched in silence as the engines spooled up and the voice over the control loop confirmed what everyone had been waiting for. All 33 Raptor engines were lit. A thunderous roar erupted across the landscape. Super Heavy began its climb, flames curling beneath its immense frame, the sound rolling over the fields like a living force. Heat shimmered in the air as the booster thundered skyward, slicing through the atmosphere with raw power. This was more than a test flight. It was a moment of history repeating itself. Humanity, once again, reaching higher. The building trembled as the rocket climbed, the vibrations shaking windows miles away. Commentators could barely contain the excitement. The vehicle was performing perfectly. 33 engines roaring in harmony, each one a controlled explosion channeling thousands of tons of thrust. Mission control voices reported, all nominal. Super Heavy was on its way. The rocket climbed through maximum aerodynamic pressure, the point where the forces of air and acceleration strained the structure to its limits. Then came the next milestone, hot staging, a maneuver never before attempted at this scale. In less than a minute, all but the three center engines on the booster would shut down. The upper stage, known as ship, would ignite six of its own engines while still attached, pushing itself free in a fiery handoff of power. As the moment approached, tension filled the air. Hot staging in 30 seconds, came the call. The booster began powering down, three engines still roaring at its base. Then, in an instant, six Raptor engines on the ship ignited. Fire engulfed the staging ring, and with a blinding flash, the two stages separated. Cheers erupted. The first ever directional flip of Super Heavy was successful. A graceful, controlled rotation that turned the behemoth back toward Earth. On the right side of the screen, the ship climbed steadily toward orbit. On the left, the booster began its return sequence. Engineers in Hawthorne watched as data streamed in. Six healthy engines on ship, 13 on the booster, just as expected. It was an image of precision, control, and confidence. Super Heavy completed its boost back burn, the final correction before descent. The team confirmed a clean shutdown. The booster was not meant to be recovered this time. Instead, it would serve as a test platform, performing high angle of attack re-entry experiments before impacting and into the Gulf of Mexico. Onboard sensors would record every vibration, every thermal spike, data vital for future landings. In orbit, the ship continued to climb. Six Raptors still burned, their exhaust glowing blue against the blackness of space. The rocket soared higher, breaking through the last traces of the atmosphere. Onboard cameras revealed breathtaking views of Earth's curve. Mission control reported stable telemetry, avionics nominal, temperatures within range. Every second meant more data and more proof that Starship was coming closer to full capability. About five minutes into the flight, Super Heavy began its rapid descent. Engineers expected turbulence. The booster was deliberately pitched up, increasing drag to test how it handled re-entry forces. This was a dangerous maneuver, one never tried before outside simulation. The control might waver. Aerodynamic loads could push the vehicle to its limits, but only real flight could provide real answers. Telemetry showed the engines relighting for landing, 13 roaring to life, then tapering down to three. As the booster neared the gulf, one of those three engines was intentionally shut down, part of the test to see how the vehicle handled an imbalance at high speeds. Then the signal flickered. Controllers watched as telemetry dropped out just after ignition of the landing burn. Silence followed. The call came through moments later. The booster had demised before splashdown. But even in failure, it was a victory. They had gathered full data through the most critical phases of descent. For SpaceX, no loss was wasted. 
Every second of telemetry was a lesson for the next launch. Meanwhile, the ship was still ascending flawlessly. Six engines thundered for nearly seven minutes before the call came. Terminal guidance, the final phase of powered ascent. One by one, the vacuum engines shut down. The sea level raptors followed seconds later. The engines cut cleanly, and the vehicle entered its planned suborbital trajectory. Applause filled the control rooms in Texas and California. The mission wasn't over yet. Next, engineers commanded the payload door to open, a vital test for future Starlink deployments. Cameras inside the ship showed the mechanism beginning to actuate, but something jammed. The door stalled halfway. After a few moments, the team made the call. Abort the sequence, close it back up. It was disappointing, but not unexpected. Tests like this were designed to find flaws before real missions began. Then came the first hint of trouble. Around 36 minutes into the flight, engineers noticed the ship drifting. The telemetry flattened, indicating loss of attitude control. The ship had begun to spin. They traced the problem to a leak in the system, possibly from the nose cone area. With attitude control gone, the vehicle couldn't orient itself for the upcoming re-entry. Despite the spin, it remained on course towards the Indian Ocean. But without control, the chances of surviving re-entry were slim. Engineers discussed the options. They decided to skip the Raptor relight planned for this phase and focus on collecting as much data as possible before atmospheric entry. The spacecraft continued coasting, silent against the void. Even in failure, it was transmitting through Starlink, a sign of the network's reliability and a reminder of how far technology had come. The team prepared for re-entry, knowing the vehicle would enter in whatever orientation it happened to have when it hit the upper atmosphere. At 42 minutes into the flight, the plasma began to form. Brilliant streaks of orange and red enveloped the ship as it slammed into the atmosphere at orbital velocity. From the onboard cameras, the view was surreal a light show of ionized gas burning across the heat shield. Temperatures soared past 1400 degrees Celsius. One of the control flaps glowed white hot, edges beginning to disintegrate. Mission Control watched the feed in silence. The spacecraft was spinning uncontrollably, its heat shield facing the wrong way. Without proper alignment, the plasma began eating through unprotected sections of the hull. The connection flickered, for a moment, they could still see the glow of re-entry, the last sight of the vehicle tumbling through the upper atmosphere. Then the screen went dark. It was over. Starship had met its fiery end somewhere over the Indian Ocean. But within that destruction was success, a triumph measured not in survival, but in knowledge. Every test, every failure, Every second of data brought SpaceX closer to building a fully reusable rocket system capable of carrying humanity beyond Earth. In Hawthorne, the engineers exhaled. The mission had achieved almost every major milestone, successful liftoff, full engine ignition, hot staging, clean separation, booster boost back, and an orbital burn by ship. Even with the loss of control later, the flight marked enormous progress. Starship had gone higher, flown longer, and performed more complex maneuvers than any test before. The test had also demonstrated the power of new technologies, from the reliability of the Raptor engines to the communication stability of Starlink under extreme conditions. The data recovered from both stages would feed directly into the next prototype, improving valves, seals, and structural strength for re-entry. For SpaceX, this was the rhythm of progress, rapid iteration, constant testing, and learning through fire. Elon Musk's vision of a fully reusable launch system was never perfect. It was about persistence. Each explosion, each incomplete flight, each unexpected spin was a step closer to Mars. As the sun rose over Boca Chica, the launch site stood silent once again. Steam drifted from the pad, now scorched and blackened from the fury of 33 engines. In the distance, technicians were already preparing for recovery, logging data, recalibrating systems, and planning the next flight. Starship's ninth test had ended in a cloud of plasma, but it had proven something far greater than a flawless landing could. 
It showed resilience. It showed progress. And it reminded the world that exploration isn't based on success alone. It's built on courage, on curiosity, and on the willingness to fail spectacularly in pursuit of something extraordinary. Somewhere out there, in the depths of the Indian Ocean, the remnants of this starship rest. Silent witnesses to humanity's relentless drive to conquer the stars. But soon, another will take its place on the pad. Another countdown will begin. And when the engines light once more, the echoes of this flight will carry forward, guiding the next leap toward the future.